All right, as you guys can see and hear, summertime is back in New York, so let's talk about shorts. This video is brought to you by Karma, an all-in-one shopping assistant that will save you time and money. Click that link in the description. Let's head to the studio, get this video started. Now, we've got the whole spectrum of shorts, all from affordable to expensive, so check me out. The first thing you wanna look out for is shorts cut above the knee. That is a fundamental that will always stick but I also believe that you don't always have to follow that. There are much more tasteful shorts out there, which we will get to, that are definitely past the knees, but as you're getting started with shorts, definitely stick to the ones just cut above the knees until you're more comfortable with the more longer ones. So let's start off with Nike ACG. These right here are their trail shorts that dropped last spring and summer. And at 60 bucks, this is usually my range of comfort for a pair of shorts. Cause remember, you're only gonna be wearing shorts three to four months out of the year. So you can go affordable with quite a lot of pairs of shorts, or you can go with four to five solid pairs of shorts. Anyways, these do have a wider fit around the quads as these are meant for hiking and that gorp core train in general. Comfortable and water repellent with that DWR coating on there. It's not really necessary to have a DWR coating for shorts. I mean, your legs are going to get wet anyways. And it has this built-in adjustable belt, which already makes this worth the money. It's simple, easy, has a quick release. And if you do want to up your budget, they do have a cargo shorts version, which have a much more premium build. There's a good weight to it, better water repellency and hardware. You've clearly got tons of extra pockets. But with any of these shorts, I definitely recommend sizing down a bit as they are a little bit too wide in my opinion. These cargo shorts are in a size small and I definitely could have went with an extra small. But yeah, these Nike ACG shorts are definitely one of my most worn shorts this summer. Highly recommend them. Next, let's move on to the most expensive pairs of shorts on this list. And that is these nylons right here from M.A. Leon Dor. And uh, I believe these were 200 bucks. Is that a lot? Yes, that is a lot. Especially for a piece you're only going to wear for a few months out of the year. But is it cool? I think so. So nylon shorts in general aren't really the comfiest unless there's intentional stitching to help with articulation. These ones don't have that unfortunately, but they do have an interesting look material wise whenever you put it together in a fit. And these ones in particular are their color block shorts from last year. They don't really have these anymore from what I've seen on their sites. You might find it on secondhand, but they do have a lot of other cool interesting shorts. And that's what this is. You want a statement piece for your shorts too. For summer, fashion basically goes out the window because you're just trying to stay cool, right? So a statement piece like this is that chef's kiss you need these ones from nike are pretty cool nice subtle graphic that definitely makes a statement but yeah find yourself a statement shorts for the summertime and here's how i style these shorts the first fit you see me wearing these in is from last year i basically pulled from every single color on these pair of shorts and just matched that with the rest of my fit just really embracing what this is so i have an oversized cream shirt i've got black accessories like my crew socks and the y3 bandana around me and then i also matched that green with the same colored cap and in the next fit, I'm letting this be the statement piece of the fits and keeping everything else very minimal. All right, edit break right here. If I were you, I would make sure to tag any of their shorts or any of the shorts on this list with the Karma extension. Let me show you how it works. First off, Karma is just the best way to do online shopping, period. You can't beat it. It's a free app and Chrome extension. It doesn't cost you a penny. In fact, you can actually make money whenever you do your shopping. So I wanna tell you guys a personal story. You guys know I love the Nike ACG cargo. I know this video is about shorts, but these pants are my most worn pants year round. And what's special about these pants is this was the last time Earlson Hugh had his input in Nike Lab ACG. And then Karma sent me an email notifying me that it actually restocked and I was able to capitalize on that before it even sold out again which just saved me even more money from the resale market and it saved me time from waiting for another restock which they haven't even done yet and that is why I just can't do online shopping without the Karma app or extension so there are four features the first one is the coupon feature which Karma will automatically apply and find the best coupon codes to save you the most amount of money and the second one is you get to organize your shopping into categories or lists this is going to allow you to plan your wardrobe your seasonal pickup for me personally, it allows me to plan future videos, the furniture for my future apartment, and even just office gear, camera gear pickups for the future. And the third feature is you can get real-time updates on items that you save. So whether an item restocks or goes on sale, you're gonna get notified for that and even works on Grailed. So you might even save money on the resale market. And the fourth feature, cash back on your purchases. Who doesn't love that? And you can even feel free to donate your money on any charities that you support. So definitely download the Karma extension by clicking that link in the description. Trust me, man. And you're gonna save time, you're gonna save money, headache. I've personally been a user for years and you should too. 
Thank you, Karma, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the shorts. Now, up next are sweat shorts. Now, these can be the most affordable or the most expensive, depending on where you go. Elevated Basics seems to be the norm nowadays with new clothing brands. Spend your money how you want, of course, but these ones from H&M I got from 2015 still work for me. Even though these are from fast fashion, I've had these for seven years. I've worn them a ton. And if I remember correctly, I think these were only 15 bucks. But of course, there are some really nice looking ones from other cool brands like Stadium Goods, Nike, and all that. And maybe I'll splurge on them one day. But either way, sweatshorts are definitely the move. They're much more comfortable. They really shine in muted colors and grays. And those are colors I'd recommend. And this is just my opinion. I would stay away from black and whites. I just think those colors look much better with different fabrics and materials like nylon. But the standard dark gray or maybe even cream is definitely a good move. Now, the next pair of shorts are my favorites. And that is the athletic short. These are the shorts that you'll typically work out in. But you don't want to go too hard with that athleisure look. Something like these that really have that athleisure sportswear look. Sometimes I feel like that can limit you in terms of putting it together in a fit. So go for something like these shorts from Lululemon. They have that subtle casual athleisure look that makes it the most versatile pair of shorts. You're going to wear these a ton because you can wear them when working out or you can wear them when putting together a fit. Typically these will come with some sort of useful feature whether it be zipper pockets, 3M reflectivity or odor prevention all pluses in my book that you typically don't get with other pairs of shorts and here's how i'm styling it in a casual fit as you can see it still works and it kind of has that sportswear vibe a little bit which i personally dig and here's just a casual gym outfit same type of shorts shows how versatile it is definitely get yourself a pair of athletic shorts now these next pair of shorts are actually a pair of regular pants but it can convert into a pair of shorts these are the apex pants from glory allen shout out to him it's a great channel if you want to learn how to so, which is what I was getting into. Anyways, the hardware on these is impeccable. It really adds to the look of the shorts. There's netting, metal, cool pocket design. It's just overall a solid pair of shorts and pants. So these are similar pants to the ones from Nike ACG, which also converts into a pair of shorts. So that's just another pair of bottoms to look out for to get more bang for your buck. So those are my top five shorts. Now as a bonus, mesh shorts for sure should be on everyone's radar. Now they aren't my favorite kind of shorts, but honestly, these ones from Kith are very tempting. You also wanna keep an eye out on these ones from Y3. Now these and some other brands like Stone Island are just done much more tastefully than a regular pair of shorts with just extra length. Clearly, these are more of a fashion statement, so I would personally pair it with more fashionable items. Pairing these type of shorts with just a regular tee is not really the move, which is why I think knee-length shorts get a lot of flack. There's nothing wrong with them if they are done well. And those are my favorite shorts, everyone. Let me know what suggestions you have. I'm always open to different pairs of shorts. Who doesn't love options? And if you made it this far, make sure you comment hello there so I know that you're cool and you've enjoyed the Obi-Wan series. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, and until then, stay fly download the karma extension deuces